Hi, how you doing? My name is Scott Smith. I am an ambassador for the Pickleball Association of America. Basically what that means is I take time to educate people on the sport of pickleball and talk about the great benefits and, and health of the sport as well too. I played tennis most of my life competitively and I traded in my tennis rackets for pickleball paddles about five years ago and absolutely love the sport. It's the fastest growing sport in America. There's over 4 million players and it grew at a rate of about 20% just last year alone. Um, in terms of where pickleball was originated or invented, it was actually invented here in Seattle, in Bainbridge Island back in 1965. You're probably seeing uh, the popularity of the sport really, really grow. You're seeing more and more tennis courts being converted into pickleball courts. If you're watching ESPN or even CBS Sports, sometimes you'll see pickleball there as well too. Let's talk about the pickleball court itself. It's the same size as a badminton court. So it's about 44 feet long, about 20 feet wide. This is the baseline here. There's a right service court and there's a left service court. Very similar to tennis, you might call this the deuce court or the ad court. I'll talk about serving in a moment, but you would serve from one side to the other to go diagonally and stand behind the baseline without touching the lines. Now the main difference between pickleball and tennis is what's called the no volley zone or also called the kitchen. It's about seven feet wide, if you will. You are not allowed to, as you play pickleball, step into the kitchen or step on this line unless the ball bounces into the kitchen itself. When you're up in the kitchen, if the ball does bounce in the kitchen itself, you are allowed to step in and hit and then come back. If you're taking the ball on the fly or volleying, it's gotta be here and you cannot step on the line. For serving, and usually you're playing double, so you've got somebody here and your partner over here. We'll talk more about how that rotates. For the most part, you continue to serve until you lose a point and each person gets one serve. Uh, it's very similar to volleyball scoring, if you will. You could only score if you're serving to get that point. So as a serve itself, there's a couple different options. First of all, you have to go low to high, hit the ball below your waist, and finish up with an upward motion. That might look like this. Now there's also another option, which is now it's a fairly new rule where you can actually now bounce your serve and hit it over. So some people starting off that are playing pickleball for the first time might find it easier just to bounce and hit through. There are three components to the score. There is the serving team score first, the other team score second, and then are you the first or are you the second server? Example that might be score is four to two, one. I'm the first server in that case. If she was serving, it could be four to two to two. It's the first one to 11 to win by two. And you can only score off your serve. So the serving teams always rotate sideways. And if she was team, always rotates closer to the net and back. A great way to practice and, and really learn that touch and if you watch experienced players play and they start warming up, they're always starting here and just working on dinking. So you can really work on that control and the objective is to try to bounce it to the other player and bounce it back and kind of get just used to dinking, which is not easy to do. And you want to try to get it in the kitchen. A great resource for information is usapickleball.org. You can learn so much about the sport, some of the things I talked about with scoring.